Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you an easy way to find the values of trig functions using your own hands as you can see in this video. So you have a left hand and you have a right hand and they are just, I have put down symmetric to each other. Make sure one thing that these hand must be facing you. And another thing, your left hand must represent sine function and right hand must represent cosine function. And the next step is I want you to identify each finger with the angle value. So thumb on the left hand must be a zero degrees. This index finger must be 30 degrees. Middle finger 45, ring finger 60 degrees, and then your pinky, the smallest finger, is going to be a 90 degrees. Likewise, we're going to start again from the other hand, right hand. Your thumb is going to be a 0 degrees. Your index finger equals to 30 degrees. Your middle finger 45 degrees. Your ring finger 60 degrees and your pinky is 90 degrees and now you can see not only your hands are symmetric but all these angle values are symmetric as well now our next step what i want you to do is i want you to put down right up here from the left hand side put a zero right up here i want you to put down one two three, four, once again I want you to put down zero, one, two, three, and four, right up here. The next step, what I want you to do is go ahead and divide these numbers. Before you divide them, I want you to take the square root on all of these one square root. I want you to take the square root of all these numbers. So just take the square root of all these numbers that we have put down. The next step what I want you to do is I want you to divide all these numbers by 2. 2 2 2, you go ahead and take care of 2, 2, 2, divided by 2, and divide this one by 2 as well. Now, the last step is I want you to simplify these fractions. So, 0 square root is going to be 0, 0 over 2 equals to what? It's going to be a 0 over here on this thumb. This is going to be a square root of 1 over 2 becomes simply 1 over 2. This is, of course, that's going to be a square root of 2 over 2. And this is square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 over 2 is simply what? 1. This is likewise 0. This is 1 over 2. This is square root of 2 over 2. This is square root of 3 over 2. And this is going to become simply 1. Now, by just looking at this thing, if someone asks you to find sine of 45 degrees, so you look at sine right on the left-hand side, sine of 45 is going to be how much? Square root of 2 over 2. Likewise, if somebody says find cosine of 60 degrees, that's going to be obviously how much? 1 over 2. Pretty simple. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks. Bye-bye.